Hello friends. Today I will discuss about how to delete element from array. So first we will declare and define an array. So here you can see that I have declared and defined an array of length 4. So this is like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Second thing we will write a logic to delete element from array. So this is my method uh, delete element in array. Here I am passing two parameters. So first one is the list of integer and the second one is the value which we want to delete. So suppose if I want to delete like 20, 20 from here. Okay. So in this method, like I'm just trying to find out the position first position or index anything you can say that. So in the like app for that I have written one for loop and I've, I have initialized this position with minus one. And here I'm just checking like this value, this value is uh, matching like uh, in which index it is, it has present, right? So he, here it will give um, like what is the index size and the value. So here I'm just storing that index in this position and after that I'm breaking. Uh, I'm just writing here break a statement so that it will not uh, further check and it will come out from that for loop. Okay. After that, if I'm checking here, if the position is minus one, like suppose it, if it is minus one, that means it has not gone to in this if block, right? Suppose if I'm passing like hundred, like a uh, hundred value here. So that hundred is not present in this array list, right? So in this scenario, this position would be minus one only, right? So here I'm just returning one message like element did not did not find in array. Otherwise in else condition, I'm just writing one for loop here. Here I'm just doing a shift operation. So here I'm just shifting this array by one. So it ha it will start from position. So this suppose uh, this array position is uh, one, right? So uh, suppose I'm passing 20 value here, right? So it will start from zero, one. So it will start from one and then it will check like a dot length minus one. So it will, it will check like zero, one, two, three till three here. It will check because I have not written equal to. So it will check that till three. And after that, it will shift one position like uh, uh, it will shift one position uh, here. So like 30 will be shift here. Then 40 will be shift here, like in place of 30. Okay. I'll just put one break. I'll put, uh, I'll just debug and then I'll show you like how it will work. And after that, I'm, I'm just printing out the value. So here I'll start from zero and I'll check like in a dot length minus one. And I'm just writing like everything in the console here, like console dot read line. I'm just writing just because of it will give me the complete string value. Right. So let me put one, let me start and how to call like, you know, how to call this uh, delete element in array in our main class. So for that, I have created one object here and with the help of this object, I'll, I'm just creating this, uh, calling this method. And here I'm passing this array and which value I, I want to delete. Okay. So let me put one breakpoint here and here also I'll put one breakpoint. I'll start my application. So you can see here. So you can see here, right? This array size is a four, zero, one, two, three, four. After that, I'm just calling this method. So I'll just step over F10. So here you can say that like um, this is the array size, array value and the value which we, we have to remove is 20. Okay. So here it will find out the position. Okay. So what is the position of this array? So here you can see that, right? The position is one. So since index is one, so it is uh, just giving that. So position I am just storing here in this position. And after that, I'm just breaking out. So it will not, it will not go uh, like further. It is just breaked out. And after that, uh, it is checking like if the position is uh, equal to minus one. No, it is equal to uh, it is one, right? It's not minus one. So it will not go inside this if block. It will come out and it will come to the else block. So here it will do the shift operation. So it will start from first like and it will go and it will check like um, what is the uh, here it is one 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 is the true right since uh, since you can see here this is the five uh, one one is less than a four, right? So that is, that means it is true. And then it will shift the mm, position. So you can see here in this, you can see here, right? 20 had been uh, replaced with 30. Like it, I'm just shifting uh, position by one. So you can see here after that, again, it will check like now it will become two, right? So two is also less than four. That means it will come and it will shift the position here, right? So 40 will come here, right? Third thing, like now the array size is three that means it is less than four that means it will come and it will also shift the position now 50 will come here 
now it has be, it has become 4 right so 4 is less than uh, uh, 4 no it is not it is equal to 4 right so that means it will not go inside this uh, block and it will come out and here i am just printing out the value so now i'll print the value one by one okay i'll just press down continue so you can see here now you can see here now it is giving the value 10 30 40 and 50 so earlier it was uh, 10 20 it was sorry it was like 10 20 30 40 50 now it is since we have removed 20 from this array so now it is showing like 10 30 40 50 we can give some other value also right if you want i if i want, I want to remove 40 okay so i'll just start now we can see that i'll press continue so you can see here right it has removed 40 value from here you can see 10 20 30 50 10 20 30 uh, 40 we have removed and now it is showing 50 what it will give like some uh, value which is not present in array so suppose I'll give uh, 100 here then we'll start the application and we'll see like, how it is working so firstly it will find out the position so here it will not find any position since array like that element is not present in the array list so now you can see now it is coming inside this if block and it will print one message like element did not find in array you can see here i'll press on continue so you can see here right element did not find in the in the array so this is the logic like we uh, this is the logic to delete an element from the array okay so now we will uh, print value before deleting an element and after deleting an element so for that what i will do i'll just write one for loop here for then double tap in place of length, I'll write array dot length. Let me stop this application first. Array dot length, and here I'll print the value console dot write, and then I will write array of i, and then I'll give one space here. Okay. Okay. So um, let me print one message here, console dot. Here I will write before, sorry. Before deleting and element okay i'll give one new line here so that it will print in the new line console dot right line then environment dot new line okay and same thing we will copy here from here and we'll go and before printing so i'll write here okay uh, I'll write a new line first and then I'll write after deleting an element okay after that I'll just pass some value which is present in array 20 okay I'll remove breakpoints then I'll just, let me start this application so you can see here right now it is printing like before deleting an element 10 20 30 40 50 and after deleting an element it is showing like 10 30 40 50 okay so that's all from this video just comment down if you have any doubt or suggestion thank you